I'm Callum, I'm 22, I've lived in the for two years and I'm really enjoying it and it's, yeah. Um, I like music and Xbox and playing snooker and drive, I'm going to take driving lessons as well. Callum's whole life has been one exclusion after another from special needs school, from respite, um, school minibus. So when I was a kid I was off a of hyper and, and now I'm a man. I'm, I used to bang on walls a lot and, and smash things, but now I'm stopped doing that, so now it's all changing my life, which is good. Somebody said there could be a possibility of Cam getting a house at Thistle Foundation. And at the beginning, everything was going okay. He had 24 hour, seven day a week support. Um, occasionally there was two, two to one support, um, but that was mainly because of the history that was coming with Callum and the belief that that's what he needed. Um, quite soon it became, you know, that Callum was, seemed to be reverting back to the old ways of becoming challenging. I actually hated it because they were following me like, non-stop, kind of back and forward, back and forward. With um, the Thistle team and Francis Brown, we started really looking at his individual service fund and how, what Callum's life could look like, how he wanted it to look. Very quickly, Callum was saying that one of, you know, if you could change anything, Callum, what would it be? And he kept saying, I want people to listen to me. And of course, everybody was saying, well, we are, we are. And he says, but nobody hears what I'm saying. Everybody was really trying to make Callum's decisions and make his choices for him, because we all thought this is what he wanted, this is the best. And then Callum said, I don't want staff in my face all the time. So how would, how, how, what's the first step, Callum? I don't want him to sleep in my house. I like, I would want to be in my house on my own. I expected all these phone calls through the night to say, oh, I'm not wanting this, I don't like it. But no, and he's, he's he managed really well and he phoned in the morning to say I enjoyed that um, and that's what I wanted. Um, and you know, he's never looked back since then. It's kind of getting less, less support, I'm getting less and I'm no sleepovers now, so I'm got one space here, which is good. Well, his whole package reduced down to 27 hours a week, um, which, go what you know, for Callum, you know, that was fantastic. It gave us a huge pocket of money to think a wee bit more creatively with, and Callum fully bought into it and came up with all these things that we didn't really know about or. or we knew he had interest in things, but didn't know that he actually had um, real ambitions to do stuff. I was talking about um, car rattling business, washing cars and stuff. Well, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a mechanic, kind of working on engines and cars and stuff. Um, I like getting messy hands there, so I mean, I don't know if I had to be um, My dream car is going to have to be able to, I like to be getting better on, but what's the point of having a big if you can only go at a certain speed? So. I'm going to have to go with Volvo when I was in Twilight. His weight was the, was one of his biggest things, and you know, and he, he, his general well-being, and you know, his cousin's a wee slim thing, so he wanted to be like him, and he wanted to be like the guy from Twilight, and um, he asked that one of the things he could have would be a personal trainer. Uh, weightlifting, running, jogging, uh, press-ups and sit-ups and that, and just push me through my paces. <laughs> yeah, I lost with um, three stone. I used to get a lot of support with the Thistle, but now all that funding is going to things like car business and personal trainers and cleaners and stuff. So it's what I want, eh? So, um, yeah. I, I think that there needs to be more publicity on what it means to people and what they can, what they can do with it. We've been to several places where Callum's there to help him to tell his story. And the, I think... The, after the, the sessions are over, the feedback that he gets from people coming up and saying, that's really good, you know, that's made me think. I think it's a good thing because it's so the people I've just met, like, people who have got their problems as well, just like me, it gives them a good idea, like, how they can change their life as well. It has changed Callum's life, there is no doubt about it. If we were still sitting, with him sitting in here with 24 hour support, no, Callum wouldn't be here, I wouldn't imagine. It wouldn't be a life for him, or, you know, he wouldn't be, a, you know, he wants to keep achieving, he wants to keep learning. He's his own man, he's living here, he cooks for himself, he cleans for himself, he goes about his business himself, he doesn't need me to make his choices or decisions for him. 
Um, and that's great. That's the best thing. I'm just so proud of them. I want to do, get all my life and do close places on holiday. That I've never been for it. I've been to Newcastle, I've got families in there. I want to go somewhere big in New York, take pictures, come back, frame it. It's like my mum said, never see never. There's always hopes and dreams. Save up money, get a passport, go and just go for it. Explore. Explore the world. <laughs>